Hey, hey, math people! There are three forms for quadratic standard form, intercept form, and invertex form. So if there's three different forms and you want to get between all three of them, there's three times two. There's six different like conversion techniques depending on which way you're going and where you're starting from. Uh, so let's take a look at the standard form to quadratic x squared plus 6x plus 8. I want to get it into intercept form. That's my goal. So the way I would do something like this is I would factor. I'm going to be doing a lot of colors today. So uh, I'm going to factor going in this direction. So factor. If I want to go from standard to intercept form, you factor. Uh, here we just think what two numbers multiply into 8 and add into 6. 4 plus 2. So writing this in intercept form would look like so this is equal to x plus 4 x plus 2. Okay, uh, if you're in intercept form, there's really no uh, good way to go straight from intercept form to vertex form. You actually have to kind of go the long way home. You actually have to go back to standard, then into vertex. Uh, so we're going to do that and we're going to write that down as well. So actually, how about I start with that. So if I want to go from intercept uh, to, to vertex, I'm going to say go to standard then, and we'll leave that as a mystery for now. So the way that we go from intercept form to standard, uh, we distribute. So we would do multiplication, right? I'm going to get dizzy with all these colors, man. So here we, uh, x times x is x squared. x times 2 is 2x. Uh, 4 times x is 4x and 4 times 2 is 8, so this would bring me to, where you at, blue? That's red. I have four hands, and I like having two hands. Uh, x squared plus 6x plus 8, so I'm back home. To go from intercept to standard, and we can actually write that out now, we just multiply. You distribute. So, multiply. slash distribute. Okay, but what about now standard to vertex? Because now we can two birds, one stone, right? Because I can fill in this blank and I can fill in this blank right here. The way we do this is by a little process called completing the square. So we would, we would do this. I like to give myself a space here, and I like to put this plus eight over here, and then I, if you're going to add some sort of number, you also have to subtract it back on out. So the process is, and I guess I can start doing this in red since I'm going into vertex form, to take this b value, this 6, cut it in half and square it. We want to create a perfect uh, trinomial here. So we take 6, cut it in half, and square it. Uh, 6 cut in half is 3, 3 squared is 9. So we're going to add a 9 and then subtract a 9. Because you can't just blindly add a number, you have to make sure it's a balanced expression if we're going to have equal signs in between them. So uh, I'm not changing the expression, right? 9 minus 9 is 0, so I'm effectively changing nothing. However, what this is going to allow me to do, what two numbers multiply into 9 and add into 3, or add into 6, the answer is 3, right? 3 times 3 is 9, and 3 plus 3 is 6. So x plus 3, all squared, is this expression. Uh, it's x plus 3, it factors x plus 3 times x plus 3. Uh, that's the idea behind that, is you're forcing this perfect trinomial through this completing the square process. 8 minus 9 is negative 1. So in terms of my uh, little chart over there, I don't want to draw on my dress pants here. Standard form to vertex form, completing the square. Complete the square. Uh, so go to standard, then complete the square, if you want to go this way. Then complete the square. This route is effectively useless. I wouldn't even bother writing this in, but I do want to be all-inclusive here. So we went from intercept to standard in both ways. Uh, we just have to now go from vertex into standard, and then vertex into intercept. All right? Uh, so, 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 so. 
If we attempted to go from vertex into intercept, I have to again revisit standard. Uh, reason being is I have to multiply this out. I need to rewrite this. So I would need to rewrite this as x plus 3 times x plus 3. Uh, and then this minus 1. I need to re-multiply out and simplify. Uh, so going from vertex to standard, uh, it'll be multiply and simplify. It's essentially the same exact thing as going from intercept to standard. I said multiply, just distribute it out. Same thing. With vertex into standard, you got to multiply it out and then simplify. Uh, so here I can even say, you know, and simplify here and say and simplify. They, they are the same step. So multi, I just can't fit distribute in here because you are just doing distribution. So going from intercept and vertex into standard, it's just simplifying the expression. That's all it is. It's multiplying it out and simplifying. Uh, so here we get x squared plus 3x plus 3x plus 9 uh, minus 1 bringing us back home, and this is why we teach standard form first, because it's our, kind of our home base form, of x squared plus 6x plus 8. Okay, so our last piece of the puzzle here is from vertex into intercept. Well, just like how, where's, where's black, hello? There you are. Just like how from intercept to vertex, you had to go to standard, then complete the square, it's more or less the same result for vertex. You have to go to standard, go to standard. Then, so I am in standard, how would I then get it into intercept? I would factor. It was this expression right here, or this, this little node right here, then factor. So factoring this out, green, what two numbers multiply to eight, add into six, x plus 4, x plus 2, which is what we had up here. So, to more or less uh, TL, TLDR this rundown, summarize, uh, going from intercept to vertex, or vertex to intercept, honestly not even really worth talking about here. Uh, you have to go to standard form either way, so I'm actually going to break the bridge. But it's good to talk about this, right? I'm going to break the bridge on this one. To go from intercept to standard, it's just simplifying, multiply out, simplify. Vertex to standard, just multiply out, simplify. That's why we call this the standard form. If you just kind of go through the motions of simplifying it, that's what you get kind of reduced down to, and that's the reason why we teach it first. You want to get from standard to intercept, you factor. You want to get from standard to vertex, you complete the square. Please continue to math on. I will do the same. I'll see you in the next video.